So the COVID-19 events have been bringing out some pretty interesting, um, let's call it, behaviors in people. And a saying that I've been reading a lot on Facebook is snitches go in ditches. And this is because there's so many people who are calling the police, calling the authorities on their neighbors and um, essentially snitching on their neighbors who are apparently not following lockdown regulations. It's happening all over the world. Um, and there, there's two camps of people. There's the people saying that everyone should be obeying the lockdown regulations and that anyone who's not obeying them should be punished. And then the other camp of people who are saying, mind your own business, leave people to do whatever they want. Um, and, you know, people may or may not agree with the lockdown measures on either side. Now, previous to this, the only time that I really read about or saw anything relating to this concept of snitching was in movies. Um, for example, like movies where uh, there were criminals and... Um, someone wanted to try and get out of the gang and they would try to go to the police to um, to expose the criminal activities and get themselves protection from the police and blah 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 or uh, someone who had finally come to terms with whatever they'd been doing was not actually what they wanted to do and they want to try and help stop this um, criminal activity in that context and in the context of, um, in, an, in a more obvious way, I think it happened more and, and was labeled this way more um, when I was a child. And, you know, you, you would go and tell on your friend or your friend would tell on you and um, essentially get you in trouble uh, for doing something that you maybe shouldn't have done in the fir first place anyway. But as an adult and like in everyday life situations I think the snitching thing does happen but it's not so obvious it's a little more subtle and it's a little bit more spiteful generally because um, most of us are not in positions where we're dealing with criminals or s extreme situations like that it's more like things that happen in the workplace, things that happen in family life um, or in your local community and things like that. Um, like uh, someone dumping rubbish next to the road, for example. Okay, so first of all, let me say that I'm not agreeing with or condoning or saying that any behavior that's being snitched on is good or bad. It's For now, it is what it is. So I think the main thing that we're faced with in this uh, COVID-19 lockdown lifestyle now is that there's all these things that we're not allowed to do and it's bringing out more and more these situations where uh, people are snitching on their neighbors, friends, family, random people in the street and on small businesses trying to open, trying to make a living. And it's not that anyone is necessarily right or wrong on either side. There's valid points to consider on either side. And uh, I think that in terms of the eff effectiveness of the lockdown strategy, we'll only really know in the future. Um, but anyway, back to the point is that the real question is who am I within this... Uh, telling on someone else and in my personal experience most of the time I've had some hidden agenda behind wanting to expose someone else wanting to show how naughty or bad they've been and sometimes it's out of spite sometimes I do it because I want to make myself feel better I want to be a good person and I want to expose the bad people and, and get myself validated as being a good person. And um, my, yeah, I 
cannot think of one occasion in my life where I didn't have some ulterior motive behind um, telling on someone. In some way, it always benefited me. And that was either a tangible benefit or maybe an emotional one where I just felt good about myself or had my self-definition validated. So I don't think that there's any right or wrong guideline as to when to speak up against something and when not to because not every situation is the same and um, you know sometimes it can help someone and sometimes it can really hurt someone and I think the most important factor in order to make a decision in the unique situation that we find ourselves in at, the, at any point is why do I want to do this thing? Why do I want to um, tell on someone, expose them, snitch on them, whatever? Uh, because if I'm doing it to spite them, I better deal with that first, that wanting to spite someone before I actually go ahead and do anything. Because maybe when that desire to spite someone is no longer a factor, I might make a different choice. I found that happens a lot. <laughs> so in any decision, especially when it's going to affect someone else, check your starting point. Why do I want to make this decision? What's actually motivating me here? What's, what's driving me towards this particular decision? And then once you deal with whatever the answer is, you ask the question again. <laughs> and you keep asking it until your starting point, your purpose or reason for wanting to do it, is what you want it to be. So for example, in anything that I do, I want it to be something that's going to benefit not just me, but as many different beings as possible. And if I'm checking my starting point and it's not reflecting that principle of doing what's best for all, then I reevaluate. I check what is actually going on. Why do I have this ulterior motive? What's the ulterior motive? There's no question that we're living in very strange very strange and, and the challenging times. Um, the, so the best we can do is the best we can do. It's what we have here and now, what we know here and now, uh, make the best possible decision that will have the best possible outcome. And as with all things, Check yourself, check yourself, check yourself again and again and again and again until you know that you really are doing your best and you're not being driven by some secret desire or motive. All right, thanks for watching. You're going to see me next time.